it. In the kitchen now with Stephanie Walker. She is a nutritionist with Festival Foods. Good to see you, Stephanie. Nice to see you. Um, you know, we love Festival around here, um, and we I'm super excited about this brand new program that uh, you're just introducing this week at yes. Festival. Tell us a little bit about it. Sure. Eat well at Festival Foods. It's really nothing new, but what it is is kind of giving a name to programs that we've had in place, like Nouvelle, the nutritional scoring system, and just the nutrition facts panels for our deli meat and bakery items that we have online. So it's giving people different tools that they can use to make better choices throughout the store. You know, the Skogan family is really all about exercise and eating healthy. They sponsor, you know, great events like the Turkey Trot. Mm -hmm. and, and so that's where the whole Nouvelle system came in. And if you have not tried that, you need to. Basically, every single item in the store, you know, the food, have a, they have a little score. Yeah, right um, in the upper right-hand corner. And so you don't have to read the back of every label because who has time to do that? You know, normally we're all in a hurry. Just, you know, you're looking at the price tag anyway. Um, check One out the new one, one to a hundred. Perfect scoring items are like what? Broccoli. Broccoli, of course. Strawberries. Strawberries. Um, but what I've really used it for is like fruit juices. You know, people think fruit juice healthy. Not all of them. You know what I mean? Correct. So just kind of when you're picking things out, cereal, you know, just know that, you know, the closer it is to 100, that's the stuff that you want in the cart. Yes. And I think, too, some of the things that are surprising, like the cereal that you've been saying no to for your kids may actually be the, better than the one you're buying, you Absolutely. know? Absolutely. So you start just kind of, you know, playing around with it, and it can be a lot of fun, it's quick and easy, and all of a sudden you're eating more healthy, which is cool. Yeah. Um, what part of this new Eat Well program is, a whole new section of the deli uh, of really healthy but delicious sides and salads. We all yes. love Festival's Deli, so now you can swing there for lunch and um, and pick up a container of pasta salad and feel really good about it, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we have 10 salads to offer, and basically they're always in the case, just like all the other salads, and they're denoted by the Eat Well at Festival Foods sign. So what we do is we take the work out of it. We basically make sure they're calorie controlled. We make sure um, there are limited amounts of sugar, sodium, and saturated fat. There's no trans fat, and if grain products are used, they have to be a whole grain. So that's a whole grain pasta. And that looks absolutely yeah. delicious. So, you know, um, I, you know, if you're using the deli anyway, which I do all the time to kind of round out a meal, this is one of my favorites. In fact, at festival, you'll see a little picture of me, too, that says, the cooking mom loves this. <laughs> These are heirloom roasted tomatoes. Pick up some chicken breast potatoes. with a grill. Or potatoes, yeah. And it's different potatoes, um, and you can feel really good about them. Heat them in the oven or in the microwave, and, mm -hmm. and, they're, and they're done and delicious and pretty. A quick, real quick, easy side. Yes. Love that. And this is also one of my favorite. This one is great. Tell us about this one. The Fiesta Lime Black Bean Fiesta Salad. Um, it's, it's really fantastic. It pairs very well with chicken, so it's probably what we'll put on the plate with our tortilla crusted chicken breast today. Also great um, with baked chips. So, yes. um, you know, you can kind of like guilt-free dipping. All right, we're going to do a nice healthy recipe. We did that chicken fajita pizza at the beginning of the show. So I kind of like at the beginning of the week, I'll think chicken's the theme. We're going to go with chicken this week. So you can make the chicken fajita pizza one night and then turn it in, you know, with some of the same ingredients, a totally different meal. So we're doing tortilla crusted chicken breast. So we're going to start out, what kind of chips are we using? These are the Old Dutch restaurant style tortilla chips. Okay. These score a 39. So for, That's not bad. for a chip, it is actually yeah. a very good score. Um, so they are actually on sale this week as well. And this is our Eat Well Wednesday blog recipe. So what we do is at the beginning of the week, our dietitians take our sale items um, and try to make a recipe based on what's on sale that's a little bit better for you so love it yes so these are on sale but if you're you can also use different things so if you have somebody that likes a little bit more flavor okay these benito's chips have really a little good. bit more kick very good Ooh. We score 55. would you wow. like to try wow yeah pinto and black bean yes yeah okay so basically we're going to crush these yes. that's okay we'll do that later i'll dig into that bag later trust me um so we're going to crush these up and get them into a bowl now how are we going to get this to stick to the chicken breast um, that is what we use the spread for. Okay. So put three tablespoons of that for typically four chicken breasts. So we can use a little bit less here. So All right. So in goes our, our chips. Is that, you know, maybe at home crush them a little bit better, but. But for this, this is perfect. Or if you get down to the bottom of the bag and you've got all those crushed chips, great way to use them. Yes. Okay, all right, so now we're gonna use some, some of, we're using country crock um, spread. Yes, calcium and vitamin D enriched. Really, okay, yes. so that's good. a that's good one to know. So yeah, so it gets one of the higher Nouvelle scores for a spread. It scores a six. Okay, wonderful. So a couple, couple tablespoons? Yeah, three total for four chicken breasts usually, so that's perfect for the two that we're doing. Okay, all right, and we're just gonna mix those together. Mm -hmm. And then cumin? A little bit of cumin, yes. To give it that southwest flavor. And you were saying you made this at home and everybody loved it, right? Yeah, uh, my fiance actually said it reminded him a little bit of like a crispy fried chicken. So Yum. it's a much healthier option um, than going into the deep fryer, actually. Yeah, and there's a similar recipe like this at one of the local restaurants, chain restaurants. 
um, you know, you can make this at home, save a lot of money, eat a little more healthy. All right, now we've got our boneless, skinless chicken breast onto a foil line because we don't want to be doing dishes all, all Correct. afternoon, right? And this just goes right on top, Stephanie? Mm -hmm. yep. Okay. Now, oven temperature on this, we want a high heat on this as well, yes. right? About 400, is that what we're baking yes, at? Yes, okay. 4 or 425, depending on your oven. Okay, so just kind of get this. It's going to be a little bit messy, but it's going to taste wonderful when it all bakes together, so don't worry about it. Exactly. Okay. All right, so in this goes until um, the chicken breasts cook through, and we will show you. And can you throw me the pot holders over there? Oh, I've got some. That's all right. We'll use these. These have been in for about half hour yes. or so. And then, oh, they smell delicious. And then the chips get a little bit crispy mm -hmm. on top, which I'm excited about. Now, to round out this meal, so let's say that, you know, um, you're picking up the dad's chicken breast at festival, you pick up your chips, you make this. Mm -hmm. But I always say one or two things and then let festival help with the rest of it. So what are we going to serve this with as a side? Absolutely. Well, you can do a lot of things. And this is the part that a lot of people say, you know, I just don't know how to make the whole plate, you know, what it should be. And it doesn't have to be difficult. Like you said, you can grab one of our Eat Well salads. Um, the lime black bean fiesta will go perfect with this. And fill the other portion of the plate with, you know, whether it's a, a bag salad, that's really easy, or um, frozen, fresh frozen vegetables are on sale this week as well and you can easily heat those up. Um, so lots of great options. It doesn't have to be that much work. Um, just always going for half plate healthy, really. But this looks fabulous. I mean, this is like, you know, it, I, you know when you're looking at it, too, it doesn't even, you know, sometimes healthy things are like, oh, that's scary. This looks something like you'd order at a restaurant. Absolutely. You know, maybe garnish with a little fresh cilantro. Mm -hmm. I think the kids would gobble this right up with, you know, who doesn't like tortilla chips and, and, and chicken breast, and then maybe a little fresh lime to yes. that kind of... Squeeze on top, a little bit of extra flavor. Yeah, absolutely. Now, to get this recipe, you can um, actually go to our website, uh, fox11online.com, click on the Living tab, and how can people find out about this blog with these healthy recipes coming? The Eat Well Wednesday blog, all you have to do is visit festfoods.com. There's a little tab that says Eat Well on it, and it will take you directly to us. They can ask our dietitians questions there as well. Thanks so much, Stephanie. My Appreciate pleasure. it. Thanks Great stuff us. today. Check out the Eat Well deli items, too. I think you're really going to like them.